Turkey banding and so on. I can do it in English probably. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, so it was uh, more like circuit banding. And uh, so I think I'm going to show you some more of my circuit band stuff here. Uh, so the first thing I want to show is this, um, this Atari uh, computer that I circuit band. So I just show a video of it. Uh, it was it was it's nice to circuit band some some uh, okay, different kinds of devices. So what I'm doing here is I'm basically uh, using a wire to connect different points on the video ROM. This is the the, the, the video ROM. This is the part where the um, image information is stored. So you can see on the screen that the, all the information is sent to the wrong place, and then you, uh, you get a lot of squares and things like that. So, um, of course, uh, it can go also wrong. So let me show you. Uh, where's, uh, where's my mouse? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, it's an audio. So now it's broken. So then I put this video on the internet, and uh, of course uh, people uh, love Atari's. So they, they they all dislike my my uh, my thing. And you can see uh, yeah, it's more, mostly dislikes. And then uh, yeah, you can have some nice comments. Really stupid, yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's what happens. Uh, so now uh, it can also go well, but uh, here's another one. It's nice. It's a, a laptop, like a more. Uh, yeah, it's a bit lower <laughs> resolution on the because it's all uh, composite, but. Um, so maybe I should go to the next one. Okay, this is a quick demonstration of the Casio SA5. Um, it is unfortunately missing the battery cover. However, it's in fully working condition. So just put it on. So that's a keyboard that, uh, that I modified here. Let's see, it's not always working, but it's a nice uh, thing. So what is happening is that the uh, there's a bunch of oscillators in the machine, and they 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 just uh, connect things together like the crystal. They, they make the crystal short circuit, and then the Casio keyboard crashes, and it starts making some nice sound. And so it's going. Uh, there's a different kinds of on, it's, uh, oscillators that influence each other as well, and then they uh, they just make uh, together. They, they can do something or nothing. So now, now it's uh, waiting for. Uh, after a while, it's going to reset the whole machine, and then, yeah, I can just leave this on and go to the next one. This 
This one is a uh, also a, a big keyboard. It's a. Uh, let me show you which one it is. So you see, it, it's a very it's a big keyboard, but usually with Casios, there's a small thing inside the big thing, and then uh, so I took it took everything out and put it in the in the box and. Uh,
How is this one? Yeah, also there is a machine here with uh, where I changed, modified a hard disk, and it's um, <clears throat> this one. This one. This hard disk comes out of a laptop. It's a very small hard disk. So. So it's a bit, yeah, I also made different versions with a bigger hard disk. This one is a, like a four gigabyte uh, hard disk from a, from a, like a, a long time ago, where they, it's called a Mammoth, where it's a really big uh, hard disk. Mm -hmm. And this is a normal hard disk in the most com like whole computer size. Um, so I'll demonstrate this thing. I only have a small one with me. A bigger one are much nicer than the small one, but... Uh, I didn't bring that one. So it has a, uh, it has a, here, here we have uh, like uh, three oscillators. And it can set the frequency of the less oscillator through these uh, potentiometers. And then the oscillators, they make the arm move. So it's using the arm as a speaker. And here, with a rotating the hard disk, I can select which oscillator is uh, selected. So I can switch between different oscillators. And then to amplify it, I can use this, uh, like a guitar pickup here. Also using this uh, this delay, it's uh, this is some delay I made. <laughs> so that's why you hear more delay. But let's see. So, uh, I can show you this one now.
you can hear the sound, it's, it's more like slowly changing all the time because uh, the, uh, yeah, the, it's like a, uh, it's, it's programmed, it's like a microcontroller and then it's, it's more like a generative kind of synth so you can't ch change much, you just need to change some settings to change Synthesizer. There's actually supposed to be a Game Boy connected, but I forgot the cartridge. 